Competing in triathlons is the ultimate test of mental fitness. And a triathlon really forces an athlete to push through that physical pain and find the inner strength. I've competed in the Herbalife Triathlon for the past two years. This year is a different story. A little over three months ago, uh, I was coming home from work, uh, riding my motorcycle. It was a Monday night and the phone rang and it was a doctor on the other end who said, do you have a son named Kevin? He's been in a serious accident and we'd like you to come to the hospital. They estimated I flew almost 50 feet in the air. The doctor was waiting for me when I walked through the door and she rushed me right back to him. There Kevin was, lying on a table, all bloody and his leg was all bloody and it was all bandaged up and everything. I remember waking up in the, in the emergency room pretty disoriented. Doctors performed about nine different operations. They really did everything they could, but the damage was just too far. My left leg was amputated on June 7th, uh, 2014. Kevin was a very athletic person. I couldn't imagine he uh, would have to learn how to live without with one leg. I remember catching myself thinking, uh, why me? And I, I saw two paths, clearly. Um, a path where I was filled with doubt and regret and self-pity and uh, felt like I was a victim. Or another where I st stood up to the challenge and saw it as an opportunity to prove to myself that I could overcome any challenge and any obstacle. After the accident happened, you know, those first few days in the hospital, it was a struggle, you know, starting to, to go down that, that, that path of, you know, self-pity. Luckily for me, uh, my family, my friends, my coworkers didn't let that be an option. My Herbalite coworkers arranged a, you know, big photo session where everyone made signs. They took pictures with, you know, hundreds of people that I work with. It was so touching to receive that. When Kevin came home from the hospital, he was more than eager to stand up and get walking. I came in the living room and he was doing a squat with, on one foot. When the day came that he went to see the uh, prosthetic doctor, he was so excited. He got up right then, started walking on it in the doctor's office. They were shocked. They didn't expect him to be able to walk on it. Tighten your hip muscles up, your left thigh muscles tighten. Take a step. Yeah, I can see that. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm driven more than I ever have been to finish this triathlon. It's something that uh, I need to prove to myself I can do. Um, all that recovery, all the hard work, um, all the, the, the training, all the pain, all the physical therapy, I, I felt that, that drive and I felt that desire and I'm taking that fire with me to the triathlon. Uh, yeah, so nerves are definitely high. I'm really excited to be down here. It's a crazy feeling being this close to the water. Ten seconds start. We're getting our final I'm not super nervous for the swim. It's pretty pretty short and it's mostly upper body, so I'm just gonna get in the water and get a nice stride going. I remember before the amputation, you know, I closed my eyes a few times and just pictured myself. Uh, running the triathlon with a prosthetic leg and 
That kind of imagery really fueled my recovery, and you know, I I, I relied on on that image to kind of help get me through some of those hard times. And crossing the finish line at the Herbalife Triathlon was the best feeling I've had in a long time. Yeah, how you doing? Still awesome. My family there, my girlfriend there, all my coworkers and, and friends. Um, I couldn't have gone through this without them and without their support. You know, this year I'm so new off my injury. Participating in the race was was almost like um, a novelty. Next year is going to be it's going to be legit. Um, you know, I I don't want people to look at me and say, "Wow, that's great, good for him." I want them to look at me and and see me as the opponent, as the competition, and try to keep up with me. Do not spend any time feeling sorry for me. Nothing is going to stop me. I'm back.